All right, what's up, guys? Today it's my lunch break here at work, and uh, we have this. This is the uh, Mountain House. Tr Golly, freaking glare! I got to get something for this window. Uh, Freeze-dried beef stroganoff with noodles is what we're having here today. It says, uh, whenever your adventures takes you. Mountain House will be there with hot, delicious meals that are easy to prepare and enjoy within minutes. Our durable, lightweight pouches are easy to pack and carry. Convenient. Just add water. Prep in the pouch means you that you have more time to do what you love. Without the hassle of cooking and cleanup. Dozens of classic recipes give you the variety and comfort you crave as you set out in the morning or at the end of a long day. How do we do it? We used only the high quality ingredients and cook our meals the old fashioned way, allowing the flavors to blend naturally. The result is home cooked flavor no matter where you are. For over 45 years, Mountain House has been the trusted brand of outdoor enthusiasts. Savor the adventure. The ingredients of this is uh, cooked beef, which contains beef flavoring and salt, uh, sour cream, which is cultured cream, milk, blah, 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 sour cream, mushrooms, which is awesome. Modified corn starch, corn oil with spice extract, non-fat dry milk, dehydrated onions, and it contains less than 2% of hydrogenized vegetable oil, uh, protein, which is soy protein, uh, lemon juice concentrate and lemon oil, which is also in beef stroganoff, sea salt, beef flavor, which is beef stock, maltodextrin, and salt, molasses, spices, and garlic powder. And it also has pre-cooked noodles, which are durum, wheat, semolina, whole eggs, and salt. Um, basically, the instructions for this are open package, remove this, the absorber, uh, add three-fourths cup of water, stir carefully and closed. Optional. This is optional. After four minutes, you can stir again, which I always do. And uh, then basically, you're going to let it stand for a total of eight to nine minutes. Um, this was best if used by... March 20th of Mar it says best if used by March 2028. It has a date code of 16081, which I'm assuming is the 81st day of 2016. And this was packaged on 12 at 12:37. So it's a uh, high noon, pretty much, is when this is manufactured. But so uh, let's go ahead and uh, take this apart here. These notches always scare me because. You could tear down into the Ziploc feature of this. Ah, man. <clears throat> the end of that is really on there. The old Swiss Army scissors here coming into play once again. Alright. See what this looks like here. Move the absorber. That smells good. <laughs> That's what it looks like. See lots of beef in there and noodles. I got three cups of qu three quarters of a cup of water here that I heated up in the microwave. You can probably see the steam coming off of it. We're gonna pour that in here. Now I bet you what would be really good with this instead of water is if you use like three quarters of a cup of beef stock. We have our infamous spork. Stir this up. Get good into the corners. Seal the package. And I will set the timer on my phone for four minutes. And we will be right back with you once four minutes is up. All right, timer is about up. There you go. I'm gonna stop it. We're gonna give this a stir with our handy dandy spork. Hashtag sporks matter. Anyway, I wonder why they don't have metal sporks for homes. Like you go into like a a Walmart and look at silverware. They always have the fork, the knife, the spoon. Never the spork. Smells delicious so far. I think I may have added too much water. Stroganoff is not. I mean, I added what was on the package, and pretty good. 
pretty good. I, I may add some of my hot sauce to that. Um, part of the thing that I see online about these Mountain House products is that you uh, is that you you end up adding too much water, like especially with the scrambled eggs. The the thing is that it's it's better to add too much water and drain it off than to add too little and end up with crunchy food. Um, set my timer here to get that going. Four more minutes and we'll be back. All right, timer is going back off again. I think I'm going to actually pour the stroganoff into this so I can show you what this is. Um, let's see here. Moment of truth. So it says this is one serving. And I will tell you, there's a big clump of stuff in the bottom of this thing. Oh, it's the beef. Wow, this looks good. Now, I will say, it fills this mug about halfway up. There's still food in here. Good lord. Throw that away. Clean off my hands here. And there is your beef stroganoff, guys. Not bad. I mean, it's it thickened up a lot. These noodles are beautiful looking. Gonna make sure I get some noodles and some beef in here. And cheers. Mmm. My good old pepper sauce from the last video, I didn't use all of it. It does not take much of that stuff, but it definitely needs something. That's the thing. They're very bland. Um, let's mix this pepper sauce in here real good. But what I... Wow, pepper sauce is strong. What I did taste of it, it was very good. And I would eat totally. If I had to eat this bland, I could. Um, if I had to eat it right out of the package, as it were. Mm-hmm. Mm. That pepper sauce is strong, man. Now, the weird part about this, and I'm gonna, I hate to see that I'm breaking it down like this. A, a personal chef like, or a professional chef like Gordon Ramsay would probably be like, what the fuck is he talking about? But, you can actually taste the different flavors in this. <laughs> and it's weird saying that about freeze-dried food, but you can. You can taste the cream, you can taste the sour cream, you can taste the milk, you can taste the noodles. There's actually a little hint of butter in there. Um, you taste the garlic. The beef is actually pretty tender and tastes like real beef, unlike MRE dishes, where it tastes like processed canned food. This is real beef, and it's actually very, very tender. It's very good. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm going to pick up a few more of these for lunch because normally with a lunch break, I have to go cook food and bring it back here and eat it and all that. And that's, you know, by the time I'm getting done eating, I don't have a whole lot of time to actually sit back and relax. But with these, these are actually pretty cool, you know. I could keep like an electric kettle back here if I wanted to, throw some water in it and heat it up while I'm working pour it in here and that's it um, it's it's very cool actually to take these things with you I would recommend these for office folks I would recommend it you can eat it right out of the pouch you don't even need a bowl all you need is something to eat with it's very good guys again that's Mountain House I'll go ahead and get the bag out Mountain House freeze dried beef stroganoff with noodles you can pick these up at Walmart for crying out loud mountainhouse.com Hey, people of Mountain House, if you're listening, I would love to review what other flavors you have. So throw me a bone here. And, uh, hey, th thanks for watching. I'm going to go enjoy my lunch here. I Actually, I think the pepper sauce, I will say, I think the pepper sauce overpowers this a little. You can still taste everything, but it's it may be the brand of pepper sauce. If you had some sriracha or maybe even like a, a very mild taco sauce or very mild uh, hot sauce like Texas Pete or something, it would be great in this. 
Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you down the road.